Hello and welcome to the Q1 2015 Cushman Wakefield Video Market Beat. As always, please do contact us if you have any questions relating to any of the content in this video or in general relating to the real estate markets. Okay, on to the economy. GDP, when compared to the same period a year ago, grew by 6%. Inflation, as of Q1 2015, is at a record low of 0.74% year on year, with February actually experiencing deflation when compared to the previous month. This is the first month-on-month -month fall in inflation in 10 consecutive years of increase. So inward FDI, or Foreign Direct Investment, to Vietnam in the first quarter of 2015 uh, including both newly registered and additional FDI capsule, it reached 1.84 billion, which is 45% down year on year. However, dispersed FDI increased by 7% year on year to over 3 billion. Real estate accounts for 11% of this, and South Korea was the leading investor, accounting for over a quarter of all FDI in the quarter. Uh, and among the provinces, Ho Chi Minh City attracted the largest amount. FDI once again, totaling nearly half a billion dollars. Okay, on to the Ho Chi Minh City office market. One Grade B building entered the market this quarter, uh, pushing the total stock of Grade B space up to over 670,000 square meters from 47 buildings, uh, a 5% increase year on year. Grade A stock remains unchanged pending the delivery of Viet Cong Bank Tower um, towards the end of the next quarter. Currently, there are nine Grade A office buildings providing over 156,000 square meters of space. We think that rents will continue to soften in 2015 with good quality buildings entering the market. Vietcom Bank Tower will increase Grade A inventory by approximately 25%, putting significant pressure on a sector which has experienced lower take up over the last two years. Attractive offers from new buildings entering the market will increase vacancy in historically well-occupied buildings and further impact rents outside of the CBD. Cushman's is also proud to announce the largest ever pre-let in Ho Chi Minh City at the end of last year, but watch this space for more information. In Hanoi, there were no new office buildings for either grade entering the market in the first quarter of 2015. Looking ahead, there are no grade A buildings forecast to enter the market for the rest of the year, but there are a lot of grade B. Um, rental declines are therefore expected to continue and it will be of considerable concern for landlords. Tenants, however, can look forward to more flexible leasing terms in addition to falling rents. Okay, on to the Ho Chi Minh City retail market. One shopping centre and two bazaars entered the market, adding approximately 35,000 square metres of space to the market and increasing total stock by 4% quarter on quarter and 6% year on year. Demand for retail space in the CBD is expected to remain high in the short to medium term. However, due to limited land, the majority of future stock will move towards the non-CBD area at a larger scale, mostly in the south and the east, um, where most of the city's infrastructure and residential developments have been established. In Hanoi, the retail market witnessed new supply from two new centres. Um, the retail area of Kiangnan Landmark 74 is currently under construction and likely to stay inactive at least until the end of 2015. The Prada store opened this quarter. Uh, Cushman and Wakefield were the agents for Prada. Cushman also introduced Hard Rock Cafe to new centres this quarter. The supply of shopping centres and retail podiums in Hanoi is likely to increase in the short term and cluster in the suburban areas. This will lower the retail market average rental rates, however the rental rates in the CBD are likely to remain stable or even increase slightly because of limited stock in the short to medium term. Ok, let's look at the Ho Chi Minh apartment for sale market now. Q1 2015 witnessed a resurgent residential market registering a wave of new supply across all grades. It was up 46% quarter on quarter and 126% year on year in terms of primary supply. Transaction volumes across all grades in quarter one registered a significant increase of 33% quarter on quarter and 300% year on year. Grade C, i.e. the affordable segment, 
is the most active sector, accounting for nearly 45% of total transaction volumes, followed by Grade B with 35%. Districts 2, 7, Bintan, Bintan achieved the highest sales volume, accounting for 58% of total units sold in the quarter. There was an upward trend in prices across all grades this quarter. The average price of Grade B enjoyed the highest increase of 2.5% quarter on quarter and 5% year on year. Grade A remained unchanged quarter on quarter, although it decreased 6% year on year. This was due to the lower prices offered by new projects launched recently. Affordable apartments with small sizes should continue to be the most sought after. Notably, there is no future supply located in the city centre due to limited supply of development sites. Permission to build residential is also difficult to obtain. Therefore, future supply will be in non-CBD areas, but which offer easy access to the city centre, such as District 7, 2, District 4, Bintan District. Particularly, projects located along the first metro line will attract more buyers and investors. Some suburban districts, such as Districts 8, 9, 12 and Bintan, with an abundant stock of affordable apartments, uh, sufficient land for future projects, developments and improving infrastructure are also attracting developers and low income earners. The new housing law which is, will be affected in July 2015 which allows foreigners to own commercial properties and residential in Vietnam will help to strengthen the demand especially for mid to high end projects. Okay, thank you for watching our Market B video. If you've got any questions then please do not hesitate to contact me. Our contact details can be found at the end of the video.